looks like. You can join us. This is what democracy join us. looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Don't shoot! 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 Black lives matter! 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 No justice, no peace! No racist police! 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 No justice, no, no peace. peace. No, no racist, racist police. No justice, no peace. No 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 racist police. No racist police. No justice, no peace. No racist police. No justice, no peace. Black lives matter. 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 You can walk with us if you want. Your silence is full of oppression. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Turn up. Don't turn down. We do this for my brown.
And I will point out that there are officers over at the end of the frat quad. This is the way they silence protests. This is the way they silence justice. This is this is three officers for the size of our rally. The more we gain, the more they fear. And this system is beneficial to a lot of important rich people. And challenging this system, they'll do anything to challenge it. And we have to do anything that we're willing to do as well.
Thank you, everyone. One thing I want to say is, uh, yeah, also Von Dierkmeyer, justice for him as well. Um, uh, yeah, if you don't know the story, Von Derek Myers um, was on a different side of St. Louis um, called the South City on Shaw Boulevard. And it's actually a very uh, wealthy white neighborhood um, to the point that a lot of people have personal security guards. And a uh, security guard was off duty and saw him leaving a store and some kind of interaction ensued where he just decided that he was dangerous because of the color of his skin. He shot him and he killed him. Sixteen. Sixteen times. He shot an unarmed, or an off-duty, I'm sorry, an off-duty security guard shot an 18-year-old kid 16 times. He had a sandwich in his hand. He had no gun on him. He had no weapon. He did not interact with the officer. I believe he ran because black men should be afraid of police officers. And I also wanted to say, we talked about our arrest, but it happened on Saturday. We uh, marched down to a quick trip gas station, which is uh, where uh, Mike Brown was leaving before he was shot. And we marched down to a different quick trip. And before we began our sit-in that led to our arrest, uh, we stood up against the cops and we did four and a half minutes of silence. We stood in front of full riot police, banging their batons on the ground, shields, helmets, everything. Helicopter. They wanted helicopters going around, swap cars as tall as that tent, I swear to God. And we, so you're now a part of this. I mean, you can choose to not be a part of this, but this is what we've done. That four and a half minutes means something. Stay, standing in silence for four and a half minutes, for the four and a half hours that Mike Brown's body was left out on the ground means something. So I hope you all take this seriously, because you can be part of this movement, you can be part of this family. I found my family down in St. Louis, and I'm not going to rest until there's justice, not just for Mike Brown, not just for Von Derek Myers, but for everyone. And until Black Lives Matter, because that's what it really comes down to. Thank you, everyone. There are lawyers, activists in the community, and we just kind of got together and realized that basically we felt that Black Lives Matter. And so we have different events and such like that. This is a more individual um, stance. But if anyone does want to get off of this campus and break this view of our bubble and start being real members of this community, you can definitely look at our Twitter. Um, it's Black Life 5 and 5. Um, you can look for us on Facebook. If you're trying to find a way to break this bubble, we can definitely help you do that. And definitely if you have a Twitter, follow us on Twitter because, and then follow us individually. You'll find us individually on Twitter because that's really the only news that's real right now is the people on the ground, the people we were with, are live tweeting everything, they're live, live streaming. streaming. People say the revolution's not going to be televised, it's going to be live. You guys get updates? Based on what's happening? What is your take on so, so, Darren Wilson uh, gave his testimony that like late that yesterday, early today, and um, the evidence seems to quote unquote match his story, so it's looking like most likely he's going to get off, and that means trouble for the St. Louis area, and essentially for the rest of the nation, because it's, it's, it makes a, a statement that Black lives do not matter, and whatever the cops say, whatever the cop says goes. So the next few days, we're going to be watching closely, but it's we'll it's going to get crazy. Facebook and Twitter page, trying to get that information from there out to you guys. Um, if anybody is interested in black, I have cards here. If you want to write some things down or anything, um, you can go with them to me. And now before we disperse, can I just make sure everybody's on the same page? Can I hear you guys say, Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter!